In this problem, we're given a point and we're being asked to sketch an angle theta that has this given terminal point and then find all six trig function values of theta. So five negative 12, let's go ahead and figure out where that is. So that should be somewhere in quadrant four because if we go say five right and down 12, that will put us here. So here is our angle and this point here would be say five uh, negative 12. We could draw a little triangle here as well. So this would be our X and this would be our Y. And so in order to find um, the six trig function values, we have to use the formulas. Um, recall that first R is given by the square root of X squared plus Y squared. So in this case, it would be five squared plus negative 12 squared. So that will be the square root of 25 plus 144. So that's 169. So that's going to be 13. So R is 13. And recall that the formulas are uh, defined uh, as follows. So the sine of theta is going to be Y over R. So in this case, the y is simply negative 12, so it's negative 12 over 13. So there's our first uh, answer. And the cosine of theta, that is uh, x over r. So here x is 5, so that'll be 5 over 13. And the tangent of theta, that's defined as y over x, so that would just be uh, negative 12 divided by 5. That would be the answer there. And for the other three, all we have to do is flip them because they're the reciprocals. So the cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of sines. That's negative 13 over 12, so you just flip it. And the secant of theta, that's the reciprocal of cosine. That'll just be 13 over 5. Again, you just, you just flip it. And the cotangent of theta, um, that would just be uh, negative 5 over 12. Again, you just uh, flip the angle. So those would be uh, the six trig function values of, of this angle, uh, which we sketched, which is theta. I hope this video has been helpful.